Welcome to A-Frame Lesson 1.1. In this video, we're going to cover what is virtual reality. A-Frame, which is a web-based library for creating virtual reality, and your first basic code template. So let's get to it. So virtual reality is an immersive experience where you put on a headset and use handsets to interact in a 3D world. And it really is, it's amazing when you put on the headset how much you, you get in, engulfed in the world. Uh, you almost forget that you're in a room in your house. Uh, so again, if you get a chance to try it, please do. Uh, VR has been used in industry for education, simulations, training, and obviously for gaming as well. So again, it's a, it's a rich uh, market uh, to get into. In order to do VR, um, you got two sides to it. Uh, you need the hardware. And you have some low-end hardware, such as the Google Cardboard Box, uh, which with a phone, uh, you can immerse yourself in a 3D world that way. Or you have some other high-end uh, hardware, such as the Oculus Quest, uh, the Oculus Rift, which has now been discontinued, uh, but there's still plenty out there. Uh, and also the HTC Vive. Outside the hardware, now you also need software. Now that's more for, from the programming side. So you could program in something um, such as Unity 3D or the Unreal Engine, but both of these software platforms have a high entry level in terms of programming because uh, you either have to know C Sharp, C++, work with a lot of objects. We're going to use a library called A-Frame. Now what I like about A-Frame is that it's web-based. So if you're familiar with HTML, and a little bit of JavaScript, then you'll be able to start um, creating your own virtual reality worlds immediately. So let's check that out. So here's the website for A-Frame, aframe.io. Uh, and again, at the first glance, you'll see, you know, it looks 3D and you really could use A-Frame strictly to create 3D worlds, not necessarily virtual reality worlds. The virtual reality comes in once you've dawn on one of those hardware, such as the Google Cardboard Box or the Oculus Quest. So let's click on Getting Started. And as was mentioned earlier, one of the things that I like about the A-Frame library is that it's web-based. Uh, so you can see here, uh, it's HTML with the JavaScript library for the A-Frame uh, library. So once you import that, then you can actually start creating your uh, your 3D world, your virtual reality world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code and I'm heading over to REPL. And let's create a new REPL. Now if you're unfamiliar with what REPL is, it's a great platform for pretty much programming in many different environments without actually having to install the software on your own computer. So here I'm going to start just a regular HTML, CSS, JavaScript uh, project and I shall call this A-Frame 1, 1. So in place of the template that REPL gives us for uh, just a standard web page, I'm going to paste that code that I copied over from uh, A-Frame. I'm going to go ahead and open this up on a separate page. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. <laughs> All right, so you can see here, uh, immediately we have a sphere, a cube, and a cylinder. And I'm going to use my mouse, and you can see that I can rotate within this world. I'm going to use my keys, my arrow keys, to walk through the world. So you can see I can go uh, through the ball, and then I'm going to turn around. And you'll see that now I'm behind the ball. I can move off to the side a little bit and get a view of the side of the ball along with the side of the cube and the side of the cylinder. So here is your virtual reality world. Now, right now I'm using it in the browser, which is another positive thing of A-Frame is that you can do a lot of your programming and testing just in the browser without actually having to dawn on the hardware. Let's go back to code for a second. Again, as I mentioned, this is a web page. And what you'll see is that instead of your traditional HTML elements, you're going to see uh, a lot of these kind of like open and close tags. I will call these A-frame components because that's, that's what they are. Uh, it's not HTML. Uh, it has the same syntax as HTML in the sense of 
you know, you open it, you close it, uh, you have attributes here that you can then modify. Uh, so again, if you're familiar with HTML, web development, you should be able to pick up uh, creating virtual reality worlds with A-Frame relatively quickly. So let's go back to our presentation. So in this video, we reviewed what is virtual reality, which is an immersive world that combines hardware and software uh, to give the, the user an environment that they can interact with. A-Frame is a web-based library uh, with a very low learning curve, uh, if you're familiar with um, HTML and CSS and JavaScript, to start producing uh, virtual reality worlds. And we saw the basic template. It's pretty easy to get started, um, no heavy lifting uh, to start your first virtual reality world. Enjoy.